Hi everybody, Cher here with you. Welcome to my channel. So today I have two fairy gardens that I'm really excited to share with you. I haven't been doing a whole lot of gardening as of late. Um, to be honest with you, I just have not been very inspired <laughs> or had the time to even do it. But I went to the nursery the other day, I picked out some plants and I finally got to it. And you know what? I'd forgotten and kind of just lost track of the fact that I really, really do enjoy making these little gardens. I find it so therapeutic to just kind of put all my time and energy and effort into making these. And you just kind of shut out the whole outside world and you just let your imagination run wild. And that's what I love so much about fairy gardening is that you just get to do whatever you want. There's no right or wrong way to make these. And I hope that I have maybe possibly inspired you to do some of your own gardening with these little gardens. Um, it's something that I've just like become quite passionate about and I know that many of you have kind of gotten into that as well and that makes me so excited and so happy. So I hope you guys enjoy these two new gardens that I have to share with you. So here's the first one that I'm going to share with you. This one greets us when we come in and out of the house here every single day and this area gets zero sunshine. So I had to choose a plant that I knew would be okay in the shade and this one for sure is. This is an impatience plant. They do not do well in the full sun or anything so this is a perfect choice for this area and I chose just to make this into a little gnome garden and I'm really happy with the way this one turned out. This container I got last summer at uh, Dollarama I believe it was four dollars and I just love it. And here's my little gnomes. So this one's probably my favorite. Uh, this container, some of you might recognize. This is the same tub that I planted up last summer as well. Check out my little Alberta spruce. I planted this last spring and it is doing so well. This weathered awesome over the winter and has put on a lot of new growth and it's probably almost doubled in size. Um, yeah, I think I bought that last spring for about $9, nine to $10. So that was definitely a good investment because I've been able to use this over and over again. And a lot of these pieces I already had as well. You may recognize some of them. I've definitely used them before. I just really love this kind of water lake scene. It just makes me happy. And this is the first time I've actually planted one of these little calantula plants outside. I've uh, planted them in many of my fairy gardens inside before and had really good luck with them. But it said on the tag that these could be planted out in the landscape. Um, they do tolerate sun. Um, not direct sun probably, but they do do get a little bit of uh, sun here in the morning. So I think they'll do okay. And then I've got a lobelia here that's going to trail out the side of the pot here nicely, I think. So I only have two plants in here. Um, I've made mistakes in the past where I've just planted too many things and then the plants get too big and just take over my whole scene. So I am trying to, you know, kind of adopt the, the idea that less is more. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I came up with this summer and I'm really, really liking it. I put some little fairy lights here on my little tree and then I put some also around the outside of the container here so at night it looks really cute as well. These two little solar lights um, shine and cast a really nice nice glow as well. This little bear is one of my favorites. I use him in a lot of my gardens. And then the little trailer in the back also has batteries in it and um, it lights up as well. This house doesn't have any in it though, but oh my gosh, I just, I think this one turned out really cute and I'm really pleased with this one. Mm -hmm. 